This is Nancy Olson with Tutor You and a short tutorial on Windows 8.1. And right now I want to show you a little bit about the weather app. I just clicked on it and this is the one that I use on Windows 8.1 every day. And as you can see I'm on noon in Georgia, MSN weather and it's 37 degrees right at this moment. And I can see what the weather is going to be like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I can click on this arrow key and get a little more of an extension. And it looks like we've still got some cool weather. So it looks like it covers two weeks at a time. But anyway, uh, what I want to show you, I'm going to click the end key because this is where I like to go. And I like to go to the next steps, which is my places. And this is where I've got some favorites. Right now I live in Noonan and I've got some relatives, a sister here in Clintonville. I used to, I'm sorry, a sister in Conover. I lived in Clintonville. I was born in Chicago. I have a daughter in Danvers, a sister by the Detroit area, sister by St. Louis, sister by uh, in California, and a vacation up in Iron River, Michigan. I have a daughter in uh, Mequon, Wisconsin, and Milwaukee, Wisconsin uh, is, is another area that I'm checking out. But anyway, you can see that there are a variety of different places that I want to check the weather, and so I can check it every day. I can see that it's pretty cold. I talked to my sister a little while ago, and she said it's already five below uh, in Conover, Wisconsin, and that was as of this afternoon. Now, if you want to, you can add more. You click on the plus sign, enter a location, and let's put on... Um, Miami, M-I-A-M-I, -I, and you can see it's going to bring up all the words, cities that start with Miami. I'm going to type that in, and you can see we've got the weather for Miami, Florida right here already. 81 degrees, 68 for the low. Just to show you there's a little bit difference between Miami and northern Wisconsin. So that's what I wanted to show you over here. I'm going to click over here on this arrow to get back. And the other thing that I like to look at is the map. Click it on the map. And I'm going to, I can click and drag. And see, and I've got one of my daughters is up in the Boston area. And so I'm going to make the map a little bit smaller. I'm using the uh, roller bar on the mouse. And I can make it bigger or I can make it smaller. And I can see what the weather is going to look like in different parts of the country. As you can see we've got our temperature here and you can see the southern states are a little bit warmer than the northern states. We can look at radar which is the one that I usually see most of the time. We can see precipitation and uh, it looks like all of the snow that's been hitting Boston is now out in the ocean in the satellite view. Just amazing to be able to see all of this. And here's the cloud cover. You can change the region. South America, Europe, Asia, Middle East, Australia, Pacific, and Africa. And we can go back over here and click on this arrow. And I have to say, and, and if you're interested, this is what you can see what the historical weather looks like. Uh, I don't spend too much time on that. Uh, but this is the weather map. And here is the hourly forecast. If you want to see what it's going to look like maybe tonight, uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, it's going to be cloudy, 42 degrees, uh, zero participation. So you can get around by clicking the end key to go all the way down to the end and clicking the home to get to the top. Uh, or you can use the scroll bar over here in the bottom. And you can just do it a little bit at a time right here. So again, this is Nancy Olson with Tutor You on the weather map on Windows 8.1. My goal is simple, to help you meet yours.